So comics are the greatest storytelling medium of all time. And there's a huge reason why I wanted to tell this story through comics. My name is Trevor Fernandez Lenkevich, and I'm the writer of Area 51, The Helix Project. You may be coming to this project referred to through my YouTube channel, Dark Knight Nation, where I break down, discuss, and analyze comics on a sort of editorial level, or you might be coming from elsewhere. Welcome. This comic book is a cross-genre sci-fi noir book, and we're using that lens to explore numerous important themes like identity, memory, balance, and sort of deconstruct aspects of heroism along the way. And that way is charted through 1970s UFO hysteric United States in the middle of the Cold War. Now, the eponymous Helix Project is a United States government and military operation using extraterrestrial DNA, grafting it onto soldiers in order to allow them to manipulate their genetic structure on a molecular level. Now, as much as this has countless uses and countless implications, the real question to be asked here is at what cost? And especially as we go through this story through the eyes of our protagonist, Kent, who is very much a child of both worlds, if you know what I mean. And we're using sort of the lens and deconstruction of everybody's favorite Big Blue Boy Scout as a means to engage with Kent's trauma and to really understand why he's grown up to be so jaded in the world that he lives in and especially trying to navigate that without the role model and the parental figure that gave him the groundwork to do so. I'm being purposely very vague because uh, I frankly have a hard time discussing plot without revealing what I think would be too much and at the end of the day I want you to read this story and engage with this story on a deep and meaningful level and in order to do that I would like to allow you to experience those things through reading the book. The interior and original cover art are brilliantly done by Marcelo Salazar with incredible colors by Marcio Ferreira. And I've definitely made sure to keep very strong company in the collaborative process in this book. Because together, I think we're engaging all of the different mechanisms that make comics special. It is this sort of intersectional art form that merges the best of cinema and prose and visual art and a number of other elements from other mediums of storytelling and smashes it all into one crazy pop cultural art form. And while this story is very deep and emotional and engages aspects of life that I think anyone will be able to connect to, it's also a comic book, and we're going to be wild and crazy and dramatic and action-packed. We'll go from small-town America to 1970s New York City to space and to the depths of Area 51, and I hope you'll follow us there.